Yeah, the heartless theft at this school in a working class neighborhood in Van Nuys really rocked the place last month, but the disappointment didn't last thanks to the LAPD and some private donors. These eighth grade students at St. Elizabeth's Catholic School in Van Nuys have been on an emotional roller coaster. A week before the start of school, thieves broke in and stole new laptop computers for sixth, seventh, and eighth graders that their parents had worked all summer to buy. But thanks to police work and generosity, the laptops are on their way back. More, in fact, than before. I was so excited that we were going to have an opportunity to have a new learning experience, and it, I was so happy. This is the door. They tried to get in through that door, and they couldn't. We visited St. Elizabeth's on August 22nd, the morning after the break in. A security tape showed shadowy figures in a van involved in the theft of around 60 laptops. But LAPD detectives traced serial numbers and recovered 25 laptops in Southern California and Tijuana. Donors like Southern California Edison and developer Rick Caruso did the rest. By October, not only should the school's junior high grade students have their own laptops, but third, fourth, and fifth graders will too. That's the silver lining because it really shows our families and the students here that people care about them. It's a game changer as far as I'm concerned. You know, it takes a small school that uh, normally the students probably would have marginal chances at best and, and it puts them into a, uh, a situation where they have a much better chance of achievement, you know, much greater chance of success. LAPD detectives tracing the stolen laptops arrested the owner of an East Hollywood computer repair shop. Detectives say while they were there, they checked the owner's van and found seven big screen plasma TVs still in their cartons that hadn't even been reported stolen yet. As one detective, Mike O'Connor, put it, those TVs were so hot they were glowing. Live in Van Nuys, Mark Coogan, KKL 9 News, back to you.